Hey, thanks for joining me. So today I want to talk about a pocket knife that was a gift from my goddaughter. Um, it was given to me uh, as a Christmas present. So this is a case copper lock. The copper lock's a really unique knife, and, and like a lot of case knives, well mostly all case knives, really beautifully made. Just a, a gorgeous knife. Um, but it's one I, you know, it's um, not one I just sat on the shelf and looked at because it's pretty. I use this knife pretty much daily for several years, and I still use it from time to time. I uh, kind of decided I don't want it to get it too torn up since it was a gift and uh, something I want to hang on to. But anyway, this is a case copper lock. We're going to put it on the bench and you, so we can take a look at it. Really a, a beautiful folding knife, lock back, just um, typical case quality. Anyway, uh, before we do that, if you would please click on the like and the subscribe buttons and let's take a look at this thing. The case copper lock. Now, the copper lock is a design that is unique to case. Um, it, you won't see this design from any other maker. And what they did is they took this end of a trapper and this end of a copper head, put those two shapes together, made it a locking knife, and that's how they came up with the copper lock. Really, I think it's a beautiful design. And like I said, it is unique to case, you know, so, you know, there's... Stockmans and Barlow's and other kinds of knives that you can find from a number of different manufacturers This design this knife you will only see from case now. This is the full-size Copper lock. There's also a mini um, And unfortunately they don't make the full size anymore except in one version that has a horn cliff blade uh, this has of course the clip blade, but they do make the Mini in a number of, of, of variations, so if you like this design, uh, the Mini is, is definitely still available. Now the full size has a 3 and 3 8 inch long blade. Overall length is 7 and 5 8 Closed it's 4 and a quarter inches long. And this one weighs, on my scale, it weighs 2.9 ounces, so it's, it's not, you know, heavy, but it's, uh, like I say, it's not unsubs unsubstantial. It's a, it's a, it's a decent sized knife. Now, the mini is a little bit smaller. The blade is about two and three quarter inches long, so it's just a little bit shorter. And the overall length is just a little bit under seven inches. So it's just, it's just a little bit scaled down from this one. And maybe that was done because this size, maybe some people found it not quite as pocketable as they would have liked. And obviously the mini has remained more popular or Case would still be making this. So I'm guessing the Mini just sells better. And, um, it, you know, it's like I say, it's, it's a really beautifully made, just like Case always does, it's beautifully made. Nice thin design, so it does sit well in your pocket, doesn't take up a lot of space. But like I say, it's not a tiny knife, it's, it's a substantial knife. You know, when, when I got this, this was a gift from my goddaughter in 2005. And, uh, you know, I, I was working at a sportsman's warehouse, which is actually where she bought it. And we had a store, a sportsman's warehouse here in Oklahoma City for a while. And, uh, you know, I, I was a camping manager there. And so I used to open boxes and, and un, you know, undo packages and all kinds of things, you know, in the store. Um, this also was great for outdoor use. You know, the blade is big enough that, you know, you can use it for food prep, uh, other camp chores. It's just a, it's a good usable size. Um, and the Mini, I'm sure, is, is equally usable, just a tiny bit smaller, but still an equally usable knife. But I've really enjoyed this one. Like I say, it's, it's a substantial size pocket knife, you know. Um, so it's good for some, you know, maybe more heavy duty or, you know, larger chores than a smaller pocket knife. But uh, it seemed to do well with just about anything I, I did with it. It uh, has just really done well. Now, this is stainless steel of course and it's their the uh, case true sharp stainless steel which is as i understand it is 420 hc now 420 hc is not a premium steel but their their version of this steel and the way they heat treat it it seems to hold an edge decently well um you know there are better steels that could be you know make this out of but i guess that would make the cost of the knife even higher so you know case knives are made in america and uh it is beautifully made. That's one of the things about case knives is that they do such a beautiful job in making knives. Their their craftsmanship is just really gorgeous. Um, they do such a beautiful job, and I love this blue, um, 
jigged bone. It's just gorgeous. Now these bolsters aren't shiny and polished anymore because I carried this for several years. You know, blade's still pretty shiny, but it. Uh, this is a knife that was, you know, it was in use. Now if you look at the tang stamp on this, let me fold this part way so you can see a little bit more of the bottom. So Case started using a, um, a dating process on their stamps in the year 2000 that um, you would have like a dot and then an X and then a dot X dot and then on the bottom below the numbers here you would start with an X and then have a dot and then an X and a dot and an X and end with an X but uh, what they did is each year after 2000 they took one of the dots away and so that's the way you can tell how old the knife is. Now this is missing one dot that would be on the left to the left of this first X so this knife was made in 2001. It was given to me by my goddaughter in 2005. Um, so I'm guessing it sat in someone's inventory for a little while before it, um, you know, got on the shelf and uh, was sold. But um, so it's not a. This is not an old old knife. It's you know, what a little over 20 years old. But it's um, it's it's really been a good knife, and I've really enjoyed using it. So the uh, copper lock, like I say, is not made anymore except in one version. The mini is available. I've kind of toyed with the idea of getting a mini. I think they're they're equally pretty, and uh, you know the size might be just a little bit, you know, better for just everyday carry because it's not quite as big. But I've really enjoyed using this knife. Like I say, you know, Case does such a beautiful job making knives they really do and you, you can it's easy to understand why people love collecting case knives because they are beautiful they're just really well done and of course they're made in the United States which is a nice thing so anyway this is the case copper lock if uh, you think about adding something like this to your collection you can't buy these new much anymore though I'm sure there's probably a few places online that still have some in stock um, you could probably buy them used on you know online auctions and such so if you were to look for one, you could certainly probably find one. But, you know, if you want one for using, the Mini might be a good choice, too. And you can certainly order those uh, online. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll put a link to a couple of versions of the Mini in the description down below. So if you want to buy a Mini, um, you have a link there to buy it. So, the Case Copper Lock. Really gorgeous knife. Well, that's the Case Copper Lock. Really a gorgeous knife from Case. Kind of sad that they don't really make it anymore. Of course, you can still buy the mini copper lock. You might be able to find one of these um, at a few places uh, online. And of course, you could probably find them on eBay, you know, if they were used. Uh, there's still probably a few new ones running around. Um, I know I did some searching on the internet, and uh, I think Knife Center had a couple of versions still available. And uh, I think it was maybe Smoky Mountain Knife Works did. But largely, the uh, full-size copper lock is uh, a bygone thing. Anyway, I always enjoy it when you uh, stop by and watch my videos. If you have any thoughts or comments, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.